Hi Tim Crown. <laughs> How are they? What's in the happen? Um, well, in my last video, okay, I told you guys that this Togolese president, okay, got 10 more years to stay, like from now till 2030 to stay in power. Well, here is another report, which is for me a good news. Guess what? Some of the officials, all right, went to France and they were baptized, welcomed. <laughs> with flour they use it to baptize them disgrace them yes we too should be doing this i mean they need to get something like this this kind of welcome you know look at all of them they are old look at all of them old men mm, they don't want to leave power that's very good very good whoever did that shout out to you man nice one nice one yeah okay guys welcome to my channel I'm going to start off by talking about this guy, Chris Otto. Now, uh, it was reported a few days ago um, that the wife was shot dead. And the report for that explained that this guy, you know, shot multiple times and one of the bullets hit her. Well, she lost her life. After that time, we've been getting different kind of stories and reports. Um, the first one we got was that this lady, okay, is married not just to legally, legally married not just to Chris Arthur. She's also married to this drug kingpin. Now, the difference between Chris Arthur and this kingpin is that this guy is a drug dealer. Chris Arthur is an actor. This guy is also behind bars, okay, serving 20 years. Now, it seems like Chris Arthur stepped on a toe. So, report had it that, you know, this guy must have been behind the death of this lady. Even from prison, he must have ordered a death. Now, even though it's pretty hard to believe, what about the news? Okay, about this lady's family getting multiple messages from the killer. Okay, they said they've been getting threats from the killer until the killer finally succeeded in killing her. Too bad. Now, I want to say this. If this story is actually true about the husband being a kingpin, then Chris Arthur should be happy that he's not the target. Because what most people go for is the husband, okay, the man okay and not the lady that they are married to nevertheless you should watch his back let me know what you think about that in the comment section below the gunman jumped in a car and drove away police say they are working quickly to develop a detailed description of the shooter this happened in front of multiple witnesses so they are in the process of interviewing the witnesses trying to get as much helpful information as possible speaking about marriage here we have Nse. Nse is an actress, okay, I don't know how to pronounce her full name, so let me just stay there, but I know how to pronounce Etim, okay, Etim. Now, this lady revealed shocking details of how she removed her womb and what, what led to that. First, even the news about her removing her womb is such a sad story, okay, the news alone and the reason behind that as well too bad she said she's been battling adenomyosis for some years before she finally made the decision to remove the womb because it's life threatening too bad and she said here that i was told i couldn't have kids and so i had to remove my womb to make me have a life again and to stop going through what i was going through and I'm literally telling women and men, it really doesn't matter if you can't bear children. What really matters is what you would do for the world, for the universe. When I was first told by the doctor that I would have to remove my womb to live a normal life, tears dropped, and then my husband squeezed my hand. As long as you have a, um, a understanding husband or, so, or husband that is understanding, I think that's the most important surrogacy thing. As well. We also and, know about yeah. surrogacy, so it's good. You know work out as well i think but she made mention why she was talking about all these things you know with bbc pigeon english she talked about the womb watchers say people they do bed watching i don't know say they, they do womb watching until i marry they they watch my womb for me they go they look they look they look if i chop belly food they say ah it don't they swell even plus the marriage they see they looking like this 
then you never born. If you check them, if you don't, they come up and let they come up and let they come up and let them make you no born. I mean, there, there's, been, there's been New Year's Day when I'm not at home. I've been in hospital. And then you come out, maybe a few days after, five days after, and I take a photo straight from the hospital, and I'm very thankful. Someone says, tell your husband to, sh to, to you know, his beard. You don't know what he was going through with me. So there are things like that. The, the, the crazy thing about this whole story, you know, about Unse, is that even some people, after sharing that story, some people said because of multiple abortions that she's been through and because she's a bronze girl, you know, they call her all sorts of names. One of those guys who said something crazy about her is Ojong, is a Facebook user. Maybe he's a blogger, I don't know, but even before he posted the news, he said this. Abortion and Ron's life will only land you here. No matter the fame and money, you will die in you will die a miserable person. God knows I'm not laughing at her, but just want the younger generation to learn from our mistakes in life. Now, still on marriage, Nollywood and marriage. Here we have um Yabo Ojo, the Yoruba actress, the popular Yoruba actress. She on Mother's Day, she came out yeah, sharing a story. Um, about what went down with him with herself and her ex-husband okay when they were still married and he, she revealed that the reason why this man married her was because she was pregnant for him okay because she was pregnant he decided to marry her she said this man said that to her on her wedding day or on their wedding day how bad is that on your wedding day you get the news that you're being celebrated that day because you're pregnant and not because of love that point you should just walk away at that point let's watch this video guys i remember when i got married and on my wedding day i discovered my husband did not love On my wedding night, he said, I do not love you. I only married you because you were pregnant. And I gave my life to Christ again. And I held on because I just could not walk out of a marriage I just got into. So that is... The video. I know some of you will be like, Who's this guy? Who's the husband? The father of her kids, his name is Mr. Kunle Ujo. Report in 2018 says that her ex husband, Mr. Kunle Ujo, reunites with his kids in USA after six years. That they last saw this man in 2012. Whew. Wow. Well, moving on. This is the story of Regina. Daniels. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Don't mind me. <laughs> Regina Daniels again in the news. Okay, since she got married to this rich man, they will, they will always find something to say about Regina Daniels like every day. But one of those news is about her boobs. Okay, here they said that she got saggy boobs. Okay. Someone said, even though I'm older than her, I've not gotten married to a rich man yet, but my booby, they stand where, where. Another person here said, do you know how many men she done F before August Senator elect come show? Love you ready, but you are falling apart both emotionally and physically. Some, some people are just savage online. Here we have Young Six. Now we just got a report that Young Six was attacked at Alpha Beach and his chains were stolen from him not just his chains they also you know yanked the earring you know these days it's not really about his music when it comes to making the news you know it's all about young sis was attacked and his chain was stolen or he comes online to you know talk about or rant about how um, his chain or his property was stolen or whoever finds 
um, his chain should come collect 400,000 there, that that chain worth so amount of money. It's always in the news for something like that. And I don't get it. Every time it's always coming up with this news, it's always about his chain being stolen. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, young sis is lying. I'm just, you know, sometimes you just want to question some reports. Now, I rushed to young sis page to check. Yeah, okay, to just to know, to confirm, I mean, what's up with this guy? And when I got to his page, I discovered that this guy is trying to promote a song. Right now, he has a song, What If? Okay, if that hadn't happened, I wouldn't have known. And here he says, the bigger the dream, the bigger the challenges. Just want to let everybody know I'm doing fine. What If video link in my bio. Now, you also have this What If competition going on on okay he said you should follow the rules and stand a chance of winning two brand new iphones courtesy or be wheezy so maybe young sis did that just for attention or it actually happened to him only god knows now we have um efcc versus zlatan and naira mali now these guys might just be in a deep problem like a bigger problem than we think i don't know but i just think that these guys might just be in a bigger problem so even if they found nothing on those guys the government will would want to or might want to use them as a scapegoat okay for other people to learn that's one thing i know nigerian government even though they found nothing on you the fact that you come out glorifying all these things, they might just want to use you as a scapegoat. You know what? Let's use these guys as scapegoats. Now, the new report about them, update about them, is that they will soon be in court. Okay? That they will be taken to court. Why would they be taken to court? Okay, so they are using the information this guy volunteered to give. Is what they will be using, you know, in court. What is the information? We have no idea. They refuse to give us the information. Did you find anything incriminating in the laptop or their laptop that you search or what is going on? For they being taken to court, that means they need to answer to some type of, you know, messages or some type of um, whatever found in their laptop. Still on this matter, we have LD the Dawn. You know, LD the Dawn came out the other day, you know, blasting everybody who is glorifying yahoo boys um someone dug up this song of ld glorifying yahoo boys in the past okay i remember this song and another one that he released yeah um i'm a big boy you know that kind of song you know ld before now has come out to apologize for what he's done in the past even before now okay that you know now he knows better If you be yow yow boy, stand up right now. Yeah, I see you, baby. Let me get in quick. Got a story to tell about them real gangsters from the place that I dwell. I'm Nigerian, baby, king of the check scams, credit card, bank frauds, and your email spams. I don't fuck with the white, no. I don't fuck with the crack, no. I'm for that quick money, yeah. I'm trying to dick with a stack. Yeah. See, I don't hurt nobody, no. just need a bigger shack. Yeah. You got insurance, right? Uh -huh. You get your money back. It full of me missing, uh -huh. it been in multi wow, uh -huh. seeking a better land. Oh, let me be pretty bow. I'm in a Maybach, uh -huh. I call it payback uh -huh. for all of the things you did to me from way back. Go on and snap your songs that they are very powerful, okay? They could change a community. Music, okay, could change the way kids think. That's what a lot of people don't know. So what I think is get to a point in your life, you just want to get some things right. That is one thing. When you get to a point, a certain stage, you will look back and you'll be like, man, I've done some stupid things and I just want to, you know, fix this. You know, I guess that's what is good, you know. But he also sang Mi Aguyan, you know, which was about the poor governance in Nigeria. But nobody talked about that. Here we have Mr. Jolof. He has so much to say <laughs> about Naira Mali being arrested and Nigerians and their hypocrisy. Let's watch this video. Now, I got on a problem called now. Police, the oppressed boy, so. Police, the oppressed boy, so. Naira Mali and Zlatan, we got all the butter, their bread. Now, I got on a problem, like, Boko Mekong. Am I a old boy? Now, this, ah, retweet, am I a old boy? They don't want now. 
When I don't have comfort zone, they write free Naira Mali, free Zlatan. Now that they write. So I'm not going to go here to see if go protest me, the free I'm be. I'm going to push them. Well, this is the message to the EFCC and my very good friend, Mago. I want you to temper justice with mercy. Let me see. I don't know the crime they do anyway, but there be boys when they give us joy at the moment. We're not gonna lie. You know, understand that they love Zanko Lepo. Who you, Mago, you do Lepo? Now, these boys, because the president gave you for body, but now these boys they give us joy. So, if I feel just pardon them because they are young and naive, because they are normal senses. Right now, they come as a boy, they did now. People where they don't collect money for shows now, they'll go to pay unnecessary BC. Because Naira Mali, do it! Do it! And I, I oh boy, you don't boss now. You all love now. They're not going to turn a father ahead. You love 2023 with your back, now the Chris. More than Papa and Mama, eh? 2023, they don't all die that time. Maybe they go contest. They push people. If we have one of you, like, we have 10 of you, Nigeria will be better. What do you If me and you join, not be true. Now push me for front, carry my life savings, they still have a problem. See, in this country, as well in Nigeria, you don't have behave on yourself, you don't hear me. Because I'm very, very angry. See, now I'm angry. I beg, I go free them if you see too. Now I talk, oh, but if you're not fit, I come in peace. Okay, I just got this news on Insta Blog Ninja. Here it says, Man's nose broken over his online support for Buhari. Remember, I told you people, I told you guys that people are now taking this social media seriously. They're taking it out from social media to the streets, attacking people. You know, the first news or the first, the popular one was, you know, this lady she had who attacked a lady who bashed her on social media and now after then we've been getting news about people attacking those who came on social media you know to slam them or blast them or shit them okay that is it guys here we have an actress okay Adi Bengpe Oyebade she talks about skin color and manhood pictures okay when I mean manhood I mean fans sending a manhood pics the guys that do this, how do you feel when you send a lady, because she's a celebrity, you send them a picture of your down below? Hey, hey. I don't know. How do you feel exposing your stuff out there? Ah. Well, she talks about bleaching, um, bleaching in the industry. And she said, actresses who bleach have nothing to offer. I'm going to read this part. Actresses who bleach their skin are not confident and don't believe in themselves. They also probably don't have anything to offer because if they do, they wouldn't go down that route. Dark-skinned girls are doing well in the industry. I have never been discriminated against because of my complexion. Well, to each their own. I'm still in the industry, the entertainment industry. Here we have Chico Ejiro. Chico Ejiro is a popular producer. He revealed why marriages in entertainment industry really, really works. Speaking about, you know, his relationship with his wife and why the uh, marriages in the entertainment industry really works. He said here, marriages in the entertainment industry really works, but our relationship has been able to thrive because we understand each other. We understand that in the entertainment business, one has to be patient and learn a lot. We have to communicate well, otherwise it wouldn't work. The ladies in the entertainment in, in the entertainment business believe they are the bosses. And if a woman is trying to be the boss of a man in a marriage, it wouldn't work. So he's trying to say here that the ladies in the entertainment industry try to be the boss in the marriage. And that is the reason why marriages don't work. Do you agree with that? Let's talk in the comment section below. Um, guys, I have a question. Yeah, our question of the day. Look at this picture. Who was Nollywood's baddest guy? Gentle Jack, Hanks Anuku, Shegun Arenze. I choose Hanks Anuku. What's your answer? Okay, um, here we have um report. Okay, from Sahara Reporters that says, 
Okay, let me read the the heading. Chivalrous AAC expels induced former secretary Leonard Azen Wang for anti-party activities. So this person, according to report, was sacked in the in the party um, because of misappropriation of funds. Okay, that was why it was sacked, which means there's corruption. Okay, in AAC, you know, I mean, isn't it funny that a party that we believe is corruption free had to sack someone because they think it's corrupt that means corruption is going on in there that is not even the shocking thing the shocking thing is that another report okay on vanguard now i say sarah reporters notes show where own sarah reporters okay the website now another report on vanguard has it that show was the one who was sacked please don't confuse us with let us know what they said. They said it was sacked because of the same reason, and they released a letter as well. Shogoria as well released a letter on Sahari to, through Sahari reporters that this man was sacked by him, and Ezen is coming out to say, um, and the party is coming out to say that Shogoria was sacked because they think it's corrupt. Okay, what is what is going on here? And they said Ezen he's the one, he's the new chairman now. Is the new chairman. Ashore is not the chairman. Please, you guys shouldn't scatter our head. Though. Please do not do not scatter our head. Now, my point is again, I'm gonna say this. My point is AAC, who we thought was corruption free, has now shown another side of them. You know, should we say Shore's enemies are work or is corrupt? How can a party that promised to fight corruption be having an in-house fight or disagreement over corruption accusation? I mean, this is not from outside. This is within the house. I mean, this is a new party. What is going on with Nigeria? What's going on? I mean, on the show of supporters, now is your time to talk about this. Let's know what you think about this. All right, guys. Um, that's where I'm going to hold it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like this video. And if you're watching me for the first time, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you once again. Until we see you next time. Peace.